I might take him to the park after school if he fancy joining. I'm busy here. Could do the pub at lunchtime. Oh, what's the plan? Get us drunk and take advantage of us. I did that last night. It doesn't mean you can't do it again. Hey, why are you still here? He should be at school by now. Should he? <sighs> Catch you later. No, I'll be. Come on, you. It's my fault we're late. We overslept. Is that a problem? Why would it be? You know, she hadn't turned up yesterday. You are so full of yourself. Is it not what you like about me? Who says I like you? Well, in that case, it must be something else. I'm a married woman. I know she didn't say it happily. Just go and feed the cows. And where the hell have you been? Oh, nice to see you too. What's up with him? Believe me, he's the least of your problems. You're doing overnight, huh? Yeah, I started feeling tired at Dover, so I decided to kip in the truck. Dover? I had a drop off in Cali. You could have told me. What, a phone call at 2 a.m.? I didn't think you'd appreciate it. Anyway, I think you should probably go around and see Vic. She's worried that you weren't very happy yesterday. Of course I'm not happy. Diane's selling up and moving away with her. Robert, we've been through this. She needs to do what's right for her. What's right is finding something on Lee that'll get him banged up for good. Are you still going on about that? You know it's not likely to happen. I'm losing my stepmom and my sister. How am I supposed to be all right with that? You're just going to have to be. I need to get my head down. Thanks for the phone call, by the way. Telling me what you were doing in Scotland. Oh, no, wait. That was charity. I mean, what was going on in your head? Oh, I better keep my in the loop. I know. I'll call my ex and get her to pass on the message. Maybe they need the grief. I am your wife. Well, I'm here now, aren't I? <sighs> Just so you know, Isaac's on the men now. What do you mean? He had croup. And that was so much fun dealing with that on my own while you were in Scotland. And you still haven't told me why you went. Well, you must have had a reason. It's not important. Oh, you're really testing my patience now. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Lisa left Debbie and Belle a garage in a will. I didn't know she had a garage. Well, neither did I. That's why I was up there sorting stuff out. What stuff? I'm trying to offload it. You are selling your daughter's and your sister's garage behind their backs? Oh, Ken, you are unbelievable. They belong here. I'm not apologising about it. Have you heard from my dad? Well, according to charities in Scotland. Hmm? Scotland? What's he doing in Scotland? Up to no good? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, look on the bright side. If he's there, he's not here making your life misery. Oh, yeah. Well, it's true. I'll drink to that. <laughs> How'd he go yesterday? Mm, don't know until the blood test results come back. I'm sure it'll be fine. I wish I was. You know, Brenda goes through this all the time. You, you want to talk to somebody about it. You know, a problem shared. Well, talk to you. No, oh, you know, someone you're close to. Yeah, like the mother of your child. You working here again? No, no, Brenda's just nipped to the chemist, trying to find a few remedies for Doug's bad back. Yeah, nothing's working for him. Oh, poor dog. Oh, no. Oh. Anyway, what can I get you? Uh, can I get a peppermint tea, please? Mm. Hey, you got a minute? Mm, if only. Kim's left me a mountain of work to get through. Last thing I need on top of everything else. How'd you mean? Oh, it's nothing, really. <laughs> Doesn't look like nothing. You can always talk to me, you do know that. Oh, to be honest, um, I haven't been sleeping very well recently. Why not? Amber. Oh, she's been poorly. Nothing to worry about, just a little bit sniffy. You sure that's all it is? Honestly, I'm fine, David. Stop fussing. Thanks, Bob. Ta. Did you, uh, talk to her about it? Nah. I think she's already got enough to cope with. Are you finished with these? Oh, yeah, the damage stuff. Right, I'll get them out your way, then. Right, Fung, leave somewhere safe, will you? Are you two up to no good? She must have flogged them. Raised a few quid. Is Jay all right with that? Yeah, he doesn't know. They're only going in the bin, aren't they? He's not going to mind if we take a few. It's hardly a few.
What are you three hanging around for? Just discussing what a joy it is to work here. Best boss ever. You messed up an order? No, everything's hunky-dory. And this lot will be ready by the time you get back for lunch. Yeah, well, actually, um, I won't be back. I'm out all day. Meetings. Mm. Uh, no slacking. Thanks for covering for me. Why are you desperate for cash anyway? I need to save up for Lucas. Well, broken chocolates aren't going to make your fortune. I have told her that. Yeah, but it's a start, isn't it? That's a fair point. Nothing ventured has always been my philosophy. Actually, I might know someone who can shift a few. No questions asked. Thanks, Frank. Right, see you at dinner time. See if we can talk the rest of them. Works better if you switch it on. Not really in the mood to watch anything. Huh. I've made you a brew. Oh! Clumsy. Sorry. Look at the state of this place. Huh? Well overdue a good bottoming. Looks all right to me. All right. What are you doing back? Well, Kim's still in Dubai, so I thought I'd sneak a day off. Maybe take you out somewhere. We could have a picnic and a bit of a chat. I was just going for a lie down. I'll come with you if you like. No, thanks. I just want some peace and quiet. Why is she still being like this? It's guilt, son. Can be a tricky blighter. She shouldn't have to go through all this on her own. I want to be there for her, but... It's like she doesn't even notice me. She don't notice anything. She'd never let the house get into this state. Then what are we going to do, Dad? Right. We're going to have to make her notice. How? Oh. Uh, she just wants peace and quiet. Well, it don't mean we have to give it to her, eh? Huh? Eh? Have you fed the cows? No. Thought I'd let them starve. Life's just one big joke to you, isn't it? Are you having a go at me? I'm not. What's with Kane then? What? Let's put you in a strap. Why'd you let him treat you like that? Like what? Disappearing off to Scotland, not telling you what he's up to. Have you been listening to my private conversations? Not on purpose. Wanted some water. How many times do I have to tell you? Kane and I, we are not your business. You deserve better. Hey, stop this. Yeah. But is that what you want? Like, this can't happen. I need you to leave. Yeah. Right. Seriously. I mean it. Are you sacking me? No, it's just... just... Kane's home now. OK. I'll back off. But that's not going to work either. I... I need you to pack your bags and go. Shouldn't you run this past Pete? You're doubling his workload. I need you to leave. Fine. That's what you think you want. Fun children? We well, merely left these lying around, so you know. Well, fancy joining us? No, thank you. I'm trying to work here. Wrong answer. I oh, just stop it now! Sorry, I. Are you alright? Yes, um, yes, I'm just really busy. Well, Kim and Graham aren't here to check up on you. Yeah, all the cats away. Well, it's alright for you two, your family. She can't sack you. Look, join us for some lunch. I haven't got time for lunch. Nonsense. We need to eat. Well, I usually go home. Sorry. Well, today you don't have to. I'm going to rustle something up and I'm not taking no for an answer. Go on, then, Dad. <laughs> hey! Oh! Got one, finally! <laughs> <laughs> oh, What's that, like? Five nil? Oh, five one. Five one to me. Yeah. Oh! Sorry. What are you doing? I mean, my dad's invented this new game. Thingy and what's it? This is a thingy. And that's the what's it. Gotta get the thingy and the what's it, see? I'm not doing very well. Oh, well, not got the hang of it yet, have we, Dad? <laughs> oh, <laughs> practice makes perfect. Do you fancy a go? You're all right. Oh, yeah, let's leave this here. Yeah, well, we'll go down to the pub and have some dinner, eh? Can't eat here. 
Where'd you like a pig's stomach? <laughs> Sounds good to me. You go. I'm not really hungry. You and your bright ideas. Lisa used to go silent on me every now and then, and it was mostly a blazing row that cleared the air. I want to start showing her when she's feeling sad. Come to wave me off. Not exactly. <clears throat> the wages. Am I supposed to throw this back in your face? Can you afford to? So where will you go? Ain't any more farms around here. I'll fetch my caravan later. Oh, right, so you're planning on staying local? Got a problem with that. No, no, you do what you need to do. Look, I'm sorry that it's come to this. If you were sorry, you wouldn't be sacking me. Can I give you some advice? You're gonna anyway. Don't send out signals if you're not gonna act on them. Find a new gaff then? No, feel free to carry on living here until I sell up. Well, when's that? Uh, I don't know, not straight away. Not with Wendy sniffing round anyway. Don't want her to know that I've disappeared. Well, if she comes knocking here, I'll tell her you've gone on holiday. Thank you. <laughs> Gonna have to find a lodger though. I can't pay the rent by myself. Do you mind? No, of course not. Could ask Nate to move in if things work out. If it's what you want, then go for it. Just, is he not a bit of a player? Nah, I've got the measure of him. Hiya. Hiya. Everything all right? Yeah, all good, yeah. Actually, not that good, no. Just me. Robert giving you grief and all. It is hard for him, you know, Vic. He's really gonna miss you. We both are. But why don't you pop over two hours later for your dinner? Charity's gone over to Liverpool to get Moses, and she's bringing Seb back with him. Oh, it would be really good to see him. And I know Robert would be glad to see you too. Would he? It's not the impression I've been getting. <sighs> Come on, Vic, he's your brother. He went away for years and I never give him any grief about that. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> and at least when he went away, he didn't take Diane with him, did he? I know. And I feel terrible about her having to sell up. I, just, I wish there was a way that I could find some cash. Well, what about you? Thingy, uh, Diddy Diner. That's got to be worth a few quid, hasn't it? How am I going to sell that at such short notice? Actually, I might know someone who's interested in it. Mayday, mayday. I see salad. It's coming closer. Losing altitude. Ah! <coughs> <coughs> He's such a big kid. <laughs> Isn't he just? <laughs> you all right? Why do people keep asking me that? People? Oh, I just had David on my back this morning. Listen, we're not on your back. We're just looking out for you. Actually, you're making me have lunch when I've got a ton of work to do. I'm not that bad a cook, am I? Oh, no, no, no. It's lovely. I'm talking, then. Listen, why don't you take the afternoon off? You're obviously stressed out. Yeah, yeah, I went to Mum if you don't. You can hang out with us. Mmm. Game of Twister, perhaps. Oh, yeah. now that sounds good. I mean, you could do with a laugh. Thanks, but three's a crowd. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather get back to work so I can finish early and get to the shops. Yeah, sure, whatever you want. Thanks. Something's not right there. Isn't it? I mean, she's hardly eating a thing. Oh, well, you had her. She wants to get on with her work. What's wrong with that? Yeah, maybe. What? Hardly. Listen, about that garage, Debbie will thank me in the long run. You can't keep trying to run her life. OK, maybe I've been a bit hasty, but nothing's been signed. The buyers might pull out yet. There shouldn't even be any buyers. Have you learned nothing? Don't you sit down and eat something? No, I'm silage to shift. Well, can't Nate do that? Nate's just quit. What? Why? You really don't want to know. No, I do. What's happened?
Priya? Are you all right? I'm fine, thanks. Are you sure? Look, you've been in there ages. I thought you were going home. I'm just on my way, thank you. All right, listen. I'll leave you to it, okay? Have you been winding him up? Oh, cheers. Assume that this is my fault. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense. I, I know he can be a bit arrogant, but, but I, I thought he was a good worker. Like, he, he's moody. He, he blows hot and cold. It's no excuse to leave you in the lurch. Well, to be honest, I'm glad to see the back of him. If it's one of your busiest times. You've got calves and lambs to sort out. Harvest is just around the corner. You, you and Pete, you can't cope with all that on your own. You didn't want him here in the first place. Right, OK, yeah, maybe, but it's a matter of principle. I'm not having him get in some kind of mood and just walk out. See, there you go again, trying to take charge. This is my farm, it's none of your business. It is now. OK, what are you doing? Who's part round for dinner? Oh, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Well, actually, I came to see Seb, what with me being his favourite auntie. Oh, yeah, he's picky, <laughs> Vic, I am on your side, even though I don't always show it. Come here. Digsy? I'm good, mate. You? <laughs> I suppose, with you moving away, it's not like I won't know where you are. Exactly. And we'll have holidays together and we'll talk all the time on the phone. We can video chat. And hopefully it won't be forever. Uh, what? Two o'clock. All right, Deckle. See you in a bit, mate. So, was he interested? He's very interested, yeah. Well, who's interested in what? Aaron reckons he might know someone who would want to buy the Diddy Diner off me. Just so I don't have to rely on Diane's generosity. It's good news, isn't it? You haven't tied it up, then. What? What? Are you blind? Look at this place. Fair enough. Say, right. if it's mess you want. How about that? Sam! Here! How's the other one and all? What is wrong with you? No, what's wrong with you? You get the bleach out when I leave a cup stain on the table and now you can't be bothered? Well. Well, don't bother about this, then. Have you been drinking? What if I have? I'm not having this anymore. I want to help you, and you are treating me like I don't exist. Why are you doing this? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. Neither do I. C can we not just not know stuff together? We are supposed to be getting married soon. Better or worse, them's the rules. Why would you even want me? Because I love you. No matter what you've done. So you can ignore me as much as you like. I aren't going nowhere. I don't deserve you, Sam. Yeah, well... You're stuck with me, whether you like it or not. <laughs> OK. OK. I'll talk to you. On one condition. What? You fetch the mop and bucket because this house is a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> Any luck? I can do you a really good deal. I've made three pound twenty-five. I've done better than us. Are you serious? Oh come on, mate! You're my last hope. These are rock-bottom prices. For broken chocolates. Yeah, but kids won't notice that, will they? <sighs> no prizes for guessing where you got it all from. I can't reveal my sources. <laughs> you work in a chocolate factory. What's to reveal? Did you and Rishi know that you're nicking the stock? Have a heart. She's desperate to earn some extra cash. Flogging wonky chocolates. She'll be lucky if she makes more than a couple of quid. I've tried pointing that out. Oh, thanks for the support, Billy. My advice? Take this lot back before Jay susses and fires the lot of you. Wise words. Well, you've learnt our lesson, haven't we, chaps? We'll let the money on the counter for these. Cheers! Oh, what are you doing there? 
Much to the point, why is he having a go at you? Oh, why does anyone? What's all this? It's none of your business. Uh, I'm making it my business. Where did you get all this from? Just get off my back, Dad. See him again. Why not? Shouldn't you be getting back to work? Maury, don't pay it to shop, pal. Can you mind your own business? We're family, it is our business. Seriously, just get the junk some butt out. Oi, who are you talking to? Stroppy little madam, isn't he? Unlike you, our regular ray of sunshine. Oh, the wonder he returns. You need to get back to the farm now. Keen, just leave it, please. Do I have to drag you there myself? I don't work there anymore. You can't just get in a mood and walk out. Maura needs you. That's where it's coming from, you. You are? What use have you been to her? Disappearing off to Scotland to sell Debbie's new garage. What garage? The one Lisa left you and Belle. Has any mentioned that? Dad? Is this true? That was in the doghouse. You laughing at me? Hard not to. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, stop it, stop it! <laughs> and we're back to Emmerdale in half an hour. <laughs>